first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number three on the topic allegation and mixture now we are going to solve four to five question based on the concept called new vessel so if you are first time watching my youtube videos on allegation mixture don't forget to watch lesson number one introduction and lesson number two rule to solve an allegation mixture question so after watching all the previous two lessons try to watch this lesson number three so only then you can able to understand this concept right so friends before solving all this four to five question first let me understand what is the concept of this lesson number three because you know there is a huge difference between lesson number two question and the lesson number three question these two questions looks like alike same but remember that this lesson number two question is different lesson number three now we are going to solve in this question lesson number three is different see here friends in lesson number two right in previous lesson what we learned is for example i can say uh, there will be vessel number one contains milk and water ratio yes and there will be second vessel vessel number two again vessel number two contains milk and water ratio so what we learned the concept that we learned in lesson number two is we have to mix both these vessel in order to get a certain ratio right this mean value will also be given in the question itself so our target to find in what ratio these two mixture to be mixed in order to get this mean value so this is the thing what we learned in the previous lesson but now in this lesson number three what we are going to do is similarly vessel number one value will be given example milk and water vessel number two value will be given milk and water or else vessel number three vessel number four so on right but here our target to find we have to mix both the vessel and we need to find what is the ratio of water and what is the ratio of milk that's it so friends understood what is the major difference between lesson number two and lesson number three so lesson number two we have to find in what ratio we have to mix both the vessel in order to get a certain ratio mean value so all these values will be given in the question but now in lesson number three what we are going to do is vessel number one liquid is given vessel number two liquid is given or else vessel number three liquid is given by using that our target to mix all the vessel liquid and finally our target to find what is the ratio of the new vessel right milk and water ratio that's it right so friends here if you take any foreign author books or a lo local author books you can able to see lesson number three the, usually they will solve by using one formula right the formula is like a1 divided by b1 plus b2 uh, plus uh, a2 divided by uh, b2 plus c2 like this usually they will give one lengthy formula but kindly don't learn that formula we are not kids to learn this formula and by writing like a1 by b1 b1 by c1 no we don't want to do that you know the logic right how to solve a question in allegation mixture what i have taught you in the previous lessons and also you know the basics so if you know the basics and know the logic kindly don't learn this formula by seeing your books it's completely waste of time for example i can say one thing if uh, milk and water is in the ratio 7 is to 2 example i am saying so milk and water ratio is 7 is to 2 how we usually write for a milk so total parts 7 plus 2 will be 9 so out of total 9 parts 7 part will be milk yes or no you know how to write this then you can solve all the question in lesson number 3 again i am saying don't learn this formula if you if you find this formula in any of your books kindly don't learn that students those who don't know the basics of allegation mixture will learn this formula students those who know at least the basics of allegation mixture then surely you can able to understand now what i am going to solve so that's it so let me move on to uh, lesson number three questions question number one so three equal glasses are filled with the mixture of milk and water so in the glass one the ratio is three is to one and in the second glass is five is to three and the third glass is nine is to seven so the content of these three glasses are emptied into a new vessel then what is the proportion of milk and water in it so friends first let me understand what is the logic of this question see here uh, three equal glasses equal glasses in the sense the litter of three glasses are same right in the first glass where the ratio of milk and water is 3 is to 1 second glass milk and water ratio is 5 is to 3 and the third glass milk and water ratio is 9 is to 7 so what is our target our target is to mix all these three vessel liquid into a new vessel 
and our target to find what is the ratio of milk and water in the new vessel understood right so what we are going to do is first let me write this right vessel number one where milk and water ratio is 3 is to 1 vessel number 2 milk and water ratio is 5 is to 3 and the vessel number 3 milk and water ratio is 9 is to 7 understood so here what we are going to do is we are going to mix all these three vessel liquid into an another new vessel and our target to find what is the ratio of milk and water in the new vessel right so first what I am going to do is in the left hand side I am going to write all the milk values here just see in vessel number 1 we know that how much milk is there 3 parts out of how many part 4 part understood this or not in the first vessel out of total 4 part where 3 part is milk so plus again in the second vessel out of total 8 parts where how much part is milk 5 part is milk so again in the vessel number 3 so out of total 16 parts how much milk is there 9 understood so left hand side I have wrote all the values of milk so ratio for the water I am going to write again in the total 4 part where 1 part is water so 1 by 4 so plus out of 8 parts 3 parts is water so 3 by 8 so plus again out of total 16 parts 7 part is water understood friends so this complete value what i have written is for milk and this complete value what i have written here is for water that's it right if you learn the formula like a1 b1 c1 like that you will feel the question looks so lengthy and difficult but without learning the formula if you know how to write this value properly then solving the entire question is easy understood or easy or not right how i wrote this First, I found in vessel number 1, how much milk is there? 3 part divided by total 4. So, similarly, 5 part divided by total 8. 9 part divided by total 16. So, this is for milk. And ratio and also our target to find the water also, right? We need to find milk and water ratio. So, here I have wrote for the water value. So, again in vessel number 1, 1 part is water, total of 4 parts. So, 1 by 4, 3 by 8, 7 by 16. That's it. If you... Uh, take LCM and if you find the final answer that that will be the resultant value of the new vessel see here 1684 so LCM will be 16 so similarly 8416 again here 2 LCM will be 16 so 4 4s are 16 so 4 into 2 3 will be 12 8 2s are 16 5 into 2 will be 10 so here as it is 9 so 4 4s are 16 so 1 into 4 so 8 2s are 16 3 into 2 will be 6 so this will be 7 so this can be written as 22 22 plus 9 will be 31 so 31 divided by 16 is 2 so 6 plus 4 will be 10 that is 17 so we can cancel 16 and 16 here so finally 31 is to 17 so in the last large vessel or in the new vessel we can say the ratio of milk and water is 31 is to 17 that's it simple or not very simple right seriously it's very simple so only thing what you need to do is even they have given four vessels or five vessels whatever be try to write this value correctly how to write this without learning a formula so if you know how to write this value then solving the entire question is easy so finally answer for question number one is 31 is to 17 will be the ratio of milk and water in the new vessel question number two so three glasses of equal volume contain milk mixed with water so the ratio of milk and water are 2 is to 3 3 is to 5 and 4 is to 5 respectively so contents of these glasses are poured into a large vessel the ratio of milk and water in the large vessel is so friends again the, all the concepts are similar to the previous question so totally there are three vessel and three vessel as an equal volume so volume of each vessel is same right and here milk is mixed with the water in the ratio is given so vessel number one ratio is two is to three so vessel number two vessel number one is two is to three and the vessel number two is three is to four and the vessel number three is four is to five so all these three vessels where milk and water ratio is given. What is our final target? We have to mix all the liquid in the vessel, all the three vessels into a large vessel. Which means we have to mix all the liquids into a new vessel. And our target to find what is the ratio of milk and water in the new vessel. That's it, right? Similar concept, first write the values for. So this will be for milk ratio, this will be for water. Understood? First let me write the values for milk alone. 
So milk is two parts here. Out of how many parts? Three plus two five. So plus out of total seven parts where three part is milk. Out of nine parts where four part is milk. So that's it, right? So finally we wrote the values left hand side only for the milk. Now for the water. So in the first vessel we have a water in the ratio three. So out of total five parts where three part will be water. Again in the second vessel out of seven part where four part is water. So plus out of nine parts five part will be water. Out of nine part five part is water. That's it. So finally we have wrote the value left hand side. That is the values that are given in all the three vessel and we have took only the milk value here. Is to ratio water. So if you find the answer for it, then the final answer that we are going to get now will be the ratio of milk and water in the last vessel, that is new vessel. Understood? So here 5, 7 and 9. 5, 7 and 9, no other way, we need to find an LCM. 7, 5 is 35. So 35 into 9. So 35 into 9 will be 315. So LCM will be 315 here. So again 5, 7, 9, here also the LCM will be 315. So 315 divided by 5 will be 63, 315 divided by 7 will be 45, so 315 divided by 9 will be 35, so we have to multiply this. So 63 into 2 will be 126, so plus 45 into 3, so 4 3s are 12, 120 plus 15, so 120 plus 15 will be 135. Okay, so next 35 into 4. So 4 3s are 120, 5 4s are 20, 120 plus 20 will be 140. So if you add all the values, 6 plus 5 will be 11. So remaining will be 1, 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 2 will be 10 here. Remaining will be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 not 1 divided by 315. So ratio, again we have to multiply this. So 63, 45 and 35. Let me multiply this. So 6 3s are 18, 180 plus 9 will be 189. So plus 45 into 4. So 4 4s are 160. 160 plus 20 will be 180. So plus 35. So 5 3s are 15. So 150 plus 25 will be 175. So 9 plus 4 will be 4 here. So remaining will be 1, 16, 16 plus 7, 8. 24 again 4 year 54 by 315 so finally cancel this so the final answer will be 401 is to 544 so finally this will be the answer that is milk and water ratio on the large vessel or the new vessel because we are going to mix all the liquid in three vessel into an another vessel so the last ratio 401 is to 544 we can't able to cancel it prime number so better we can say the ratio for the question number 2 is 401 is to 544, right? So only thing is you should know how to write this properly, right? Without learning any formulas, right? If you learn a formula, then solving these types of question will feel lengthy. But without learning a formula, if you know only this logic, right? How to write this, then the complete question will be easy. That's it. So by seeing the question and by seeing the values given in the question, if you know how to write this value properly, then solving the entire question is easy. So LCM for a beginners you will feel lengthy but if you practice more number of question and aptitude then you too will feel the LCM will also be easy understood. So finally answer for question number 2 is 401 is to 544. Question number 3. So 3 glasses of size 3 liter, 4 liter and 5 liter contains milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3, 3 is to 7 and 4 is to 5 respectively. The content of all these three glasses are poured into a single vessel. Find out the ratio of milk and water in it. Just see friends, what is the major difference between question number three and the previous two questions? Just see here, in the previous two questions, they have given similarly three vessels. But all the three vessels contains an equal volume, equal liter size. Or else they have given three equal glasses in the previous two questions. But here, each glass is of different liters. Glass number 1 is 3 litre, glass number 2 is 4 litre, glass number 3 is 5 litre. So again it's simple but you should know only one logic here. Just see here, vessel number 1 contains milk and water ratio 2 is to 3. So vessel number 2 is 3 is to 7, 
so vessel number 3 is 4 is to 11 everything is same right our target to mix all these liquids in the 3 vessel into a new vessel single vessel and our target to find what is the ratio of milk and water in the final vessel but here only thing is vessel number 1 is 3 liter vessel number 2 is 4 liter vessel number 3 is 5 liter so each vessel is of different liters so first let me write the values for a milk so milk here 2 parts out of total how many parts 5 parts just here friends out of 5 parts where 2 part is milk in how much liter in 3 liter you need to multiply this that's it in 3 liters in a 3 liter glass out of 5 parts where 2 part will be the milk that's it right everything is same now again second out of 10 parts just see here total out of 10 parts where 3 part is milk where the glass is 4 liter so plus understood or not right in a 4 liter jar out of 10 parts 3 part will be milk so again so out of 15 where 4 part is milk in a 5 liter jar so in a 5 liter jar out of 15 part where 4 part is milk yes in the all the previous uh, two question where the vessel uh, liter is not given because all the vessels are same that's the reason we didn't multiply the value but here all the vessels with a different liters so that's what we are multiplying at that's it right very simple so is to ratio i don't have space to write here so i have written here right so again so out of five part three parts will be out of five parts three parts will be water then three liter so plus again out of 10 parts where 7 part is water in a 4 liter so plus again out of 15 part 11 part is water in a 5 liter that's it so we need to finally find the ratio so 3 into 2 will be 6 here so 6 plus 4 3 is at 12 plus 5 4 is at 20 so divided by 5 divided by 10 divided by 15 so ratio 3 into 3 so 9 by 5 28 by 10 so plus 55 by 50 so now we need to find the ratio and we need to find the LCM and then we need to cancel it see 15 10 5 LCM will be 30 so let me take LCM as 30 here similarly this two we will have LCM as 30 so 6 5s are 30 so 6 6 are this will be 36 so plus 10 3s are 30 so 12 3s are 36 so plus 15 2s are 30 20 2s are 40 here so next will be 6 5s are 30 so 9 6 are 54 so plus again 10 3s are 30 so 28 into 3 60 24 uh, will be 84 so 84 so plus so 15 2s are 30 so 55 into 2 so 55 into 2 will be 110 that's it now we need to we can cancel 30 and 30 here yes. 6 plus 36 will be 72 so 72 plus 40 will be 112 so 112 is to next thing so 54 and 84 so this will be 8 this will be 13 138 so 138 plus 110 so 8 4 248 so 248 that's it so this will be the ratio i think we can reduce this if you reduce this uh, this will be four table or eight table we can cancel it on eight table if you cancel it on eight table eight threes are 24 31 cancel it on eight table one eights are eight so remaining will be 332 eight fours are 32 14 is to 32 so finally we can say the ratio of milk and water in the final vessel will be 14 is to 31 so this will be the answer for question number three so the main difference between question number one two and the third question is where in first and second question the glass volumes are equal if it is an equal we don't want to write all the values because we are going to cancel it so only we don't write one 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 here because all the glass with an equal volume but here in question number three are all the glasses with a different volume 3 liters, 4 liters and 5 liters. So that's the reason we have multiplied 3, 4 and 5 and then we found the final answer. So 14 is to 31 will be the answer for question number 3. Last fourth question. So 3 containers whose volume are in a ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4 are full of mixture with milk and water. 
So first container contains 4 is to 1, second container is 11 is to 4 and the third container is 7 is to 3. So all the three mixture is mixed into a big container. The ratio of milk and water in the resultant mixture is. Again, the concept is similar to the previous question, right? So here, the three containers are not equal, where you can see the three containers which offer different volume. The first container ratio is 2, and the second container ratio is 3, and the third container ratio is 4. So in the first container where milk and water is in the ratio 4 is to 1, 11 is to 4, and 7 is to 3. So everything is same. But only thing is, if the volume of the container is given, we have to multiply it. That's it, right? So first, instead of writing all the values, I can directly substitute here, right? So first, water. So water in the first vessel is 4 parts. So out of how many parts? 5 parts. And the first vessel ratio is 2. So plus second. Second vessel where milk is in the ratio 11. So total of 15 parts and the first vessel is 3. So plus. So vessel number 3 is 7 part is milk out of 10 part and the container is 4 that's it so next let me write the values for the water so ratio so first so in the first container water is one part out of five parts so into two so plus in the second container out of 15 parts where four part is water in the second uh, so four part is water and in the second vessel is three letters so plus so out of 10 parts where 3 part is water into 4, that's it. So if you know how I wrote this, then the complete question is simple. So now we need to multiply this and we need to find the answer. So here 4 into 2 will be 8, 8 by 5 plus 33 by 15, so plus 28 by 10. So ratio, so 2 by 5 plus 12 by 15, so plus 12 by 10. So if you want, you can cancel by two table here, you can cancel by three table here, it's your wish, right? If not, you can just take an LCM directly and try to find the answer. So here I can say the LCM will be 30. Similarly, here too, the LCM will be 30. So 6 fives are 30. So 8 6 are 48. So 15 twos are 30. 33 into 2 will be 66. 10 threes are 30. So 28 into 3. So 28 into 3 will be high 3s are 24, 2, 684, okay. Right. So 6 5s are 30, 6 into 2 will be 12. 15 2s are 30, 12 2s are 24. So 10 3s are 30, 12 3s are 36. So we can cancel 30 and 30 here. So now we need to add all the values. So 6 plus 4 will be 10. So 10 plus 8 will be 18. So reminder will be 1. So 6 plus 4 will be 10, 18, reminder 1 will be 19. So 198 is to right hand side part. So 36, 24 will be 60 here because uh, 60 plus 12 will be 72. So this will be 72. I think we can directly cancel it on 18 table. 118 are 18, reminder will be 118. So 18, 4. So finally we can say answer for the last question where milk and water in the new vessel ratio is 11 is to 4. That's it. So this will be the answer for the last fourth question. So friends finally in this lesson number 3 in the topic allegation mixture we have solved 4 questions and the first 2 question is different and the last 2 question is different because in the first 2 question where the glass volume is not given they have given all the glasses are equal volume so that's the reason we have not multiplied at this number but in question number 3 and question number 4 where the glass volumes are different so only we have multiplied here into 2 into 3 into 4 because of a different glass volumes but all the remaining procedures are same so I hope you understand how to solve a question that was based on this logic in the topic allegation mixture. So try to take your books and try to solve more number of questions based on this pattern. But do not learn that formula, right? It's a lengthy formula. Do not learn it. You know how to write this value correctly. Then you don't want to learn the formula. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, we will try to post the remaining videos as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.